Hello there. Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif Rahman. How are you today? <coughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. I said, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Can you please introduce yourself with your full name? Uh, yes, my full name is Apsana Mandan Bristi. Okay, and how can I call you? Uh, you can call me by my first name, Apsana. By your first name, Apsana. All right, Apsana, thank you so much. This is a precast interview session. Please uh, stick to your time. It's a time-sensitive session. Uh, do not try to answer anything irrelevant. Just answer to the questions. And my name is Arif Rahman. I will be uh, representing to the Middlesex University. I'll be asking you some questions. You just need to answer them properly. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, first of all, uh, which course have you chosen? Have you applied for? My course is business management in BA Honors. Business management, be honors. Okay, and which university have you chosen? Middlesex University. Where it is located? Uh, Middlesex University is located in a wonderful place called the Burroughs Hendon Campus in mm -hmm. London, and area code is NW44 BT. NW44 BT. Okay, great. Now, uh, Ms. Apsana, why have you chosen this course, BA Honors in Business Management? Well, um, I've always wanted to study and have a career in business-related subject. Mm -hmm. Honestly speaking, I've always, uh, um, uh, and this course has a connection to my future goal and my previous study. After obtaining this degree, I will be able to um, work as a business development manager for a multinational company or any giant company. Not only that, I could also work as a lecturer in a university. Also, this course has uh, uh, many multi-career options such as uh, HR manager, marketing manager, lecturer, uh, business development manager. And uh, this course has a huge demand in our country. Okay, you said this course has a connection to your previous education. Uh, how this is uh, connected? Can you please explain? Um, actually, I completed my higher secondary from mm -hmm. uh, business studies. Uh, then, um, then I uh, wanted to study in business related subjects. I understand. So in business uh, studies, you have completed your higher secondary. So what are the subjects you studied there and how this course is connected to those subjects? Uh, in, in my higher secondary, there are uh, management, marketing, mm -hmm. accounting, finance. Those subjects are uh, business-related subjects. And that's why mm -hmm. I've chosen business management. Okay, so why flying away from your motherland? Why not Bangladesh, your country? <laughs> well, in Bangladesh, the quality of education is not flexible. Uh, okay. They do not have sufficient equipment and technology. Moreover, UK education system is better than Bangladesh. Bangladeshi degrees are not recognized around the world. And the giant employers of Bangladesh generally look for foreign degrees. Moreover, in Bangladesh, it takes five to six years to complete undergraduate degree, uh, whereas in the UK, it takes only three to four years. Okay, I understand that. Now, let me talk about your university, Middlesex University. How did you actually know about this university? Who told you about it? Actually, I am an active member of different group of um, in uh, different groups, and uh, I uh, saw this. And uh, first, I saw this in the Facebook, and uh, there, uh, there are students all 
always talk about this university and various agents also talk about Middlesex University. After okay. I had this, then I uh, went to uh, go to the university's website and I learned a lot of about it. So what have you learned? You learned a lot. Can you please tell me about Middlesex University? Uh, well, uh, Middlesex University is one of the happiest and locust, uh, happiest uh, locations and uh, they provide a scholarship for uh, international students. Also, 90% um, students of Middlesex find work after their graduation. Mm -hmm. and and uh, also, this university is located in London, and the transport system is uh, easily accessible and convenient. Also, this uh, this university is one of the top uh, public university in the UK, and various uh, foreign students are uh, came here to uh, study at this university. And this university is a QS ranking in the world is 751 to 800 uh, in 2023. Okay, that's great. And uh, how about the campus? How many campus facilities do you expect from it? Uh, well, I uh, there are many uh, facilities there. Um, the excellent education um, education system, social studies space, 24 hours digital access, cafeteria, um, co um, coffee shops, and uh, there are also uh, uh, Yes, anything else? Um, there are also uh, social studies space and um, air, light and air space. Okay. All right. Now, uh, tell me about your course. How it will be? Uh, I mean, taught. How this course uh, sorry, will be assessed? Sorry. This course will be assessment. Assessment method. Um, I'll be. Uh, 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 their course will be assessed through multiple things. I will be um, able to uh, uh, work. Uh, uh, exams, their uh, exams, test, um, and uh, portfolio, and uh, reports on uh, presentations, and I'll be given regular feedback on my work. Okay, and uh, tell me who is their program leader, the course leader? Course leader, Dr. Louis Bolter. Dr. Louis Bolter, great. How many total credit hours in your course? Uh, 270 credits. 270 okay. credits. Okay, that's great. 270 credits. So when will your uh, class begin? 18 September 2023. 18 September 2023. And the total duration of the course? Three years. Three years. Okay. <clears throat> what is your tuition fee? Tuition fee is fifteen thousand one hundred pound. Fifteen thousand one hundred pound. Okay, now let me ask you about some of the modules. Uh, can you please tell me uh, the name of the modules? Uh, first year modules are financial concepts of business, marketing theory and practice, quantitative methods for business, people management, management concepts, and second year modules are operations management, business environment, management information systems, and uh, principles of innovation and entrepreneurship, organizational behavior. And third year modules are uh, strategic management, workforce management, professional communication. All right, uh, please explain the module, uh, quantitative methods for business. What do you understand by this? Um, the aim of this module is to develop students' uh, understanding and the use of computer software to collect, analyze, and present business data. Students will also solve um, business, uh, business and management problems by using uh, Excel or other appropriate software. All right, that means this is basically data analysis method. 
It will collect data and analyze them. Okay, okay, good. And uh, okay, let me ask you one more uh, actually uh, module from you. Uh, I, I want to understand uh, principles of innovation and entrepreneurship. Can you please uh, talk about it? Um, the aim of this module is to develop students the interaction uh, interaction of principles of innovation and entrepreneurship. It mm -hmm. examines different aspects of innovative and entrepreneurial practice, including social and commercial enterprise. Okay, so you said the course leader is, uh, who is the course leader you said? Dr. Louis Bolter. Dr. Louis Bolter. Is there any other teachers in this course? Uh, yes, a uh, senior lecturer. Uh, his uh, name is Dr. Andrew Barton, and uh, our lecturer is uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Satkin uh, Azizadeh. Uh, great. Okay, now let's talk about your finance. Uh, <clears throat> after you are coming to UK, so you will be requiring a lot of money for your education, accommodation pudding okay. and other expenses, I mean, transportation, and also how these things will be funded? Uh, actually, my father will bear my all expenses. Okay, so can you please uh, clarify how your father earns money and how he will support you? Uh, actually, my father is a businessman. He runs uh, iron business. Iron business and the location and the name of the business? Uh, it's uh, located in Dhaka city at uh, Noya Bajar and uh, um, another is uh, located in Kantaria and uh, the shop name is Manan Enterprise. Manan Enterprise. So how much does he earn actually monthly? He earns monthly three to four lakh. Three to four lakh. How much money he gave you already is in your bank or in your father's account? Um, in my bank is uh, three, 30 lakh. 30 lakh, okay, already in your bank account. Which bank did you put the money in? Brag Bank. Brag Bank. Brag Bank. Brag yes. Bank, okay, right. <clears throat> All right, that's great. Now let's talk about your uh, accommodation in the UK. Have you chosen any location where you will stay when you are in the UK? Yes, Apsana, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Could you repeat the question actually in the Yes. Okay, my question is, have you chosen any location in the UK where you will stay? Did you get my question? Aftana, can you hear me? Some need problem. Yeah. Where yes, yes. will you stay in the UK? Have you chosen any location in the UK? <clears throat> uh, yes, I, um, I'll have to stay uh, 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 my, uh, beside, my, uh, beside the university. My choice of location is Savington Road, Hendon in London, and area code is NW4. NW4. So how much is the living cost there? The uh, living cost uh, in London uh, are 1,330 1, pounds in London. Okay, 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 that's fine. But in your area, did you check any apartment and how many rooms apartment and what is the rent? Uh, the rent is uh, 700 to 800 pounds. Uh, there are one bedrooms. One, one bedroom apartment. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and how will you commute, I mean, move from your university to home? <clears throat> uh, well, I shall take public transport by bus or train to reduce my transport cost 
it will take 18 to 20 minutes and uh, cost will be a 1.65 pound one way. Now, uh, tell me uh, what are the things uh, that attracted you about UK? Why have you chosen the UK? Well, the UK attracts me because of its world-class teaching methodology and excellent mm -hmm. education infrastructure. It also comes with a rich heritage <laughs> and diverse culture. UK is the most wonderful destination in the world for international students, as well as it gives the students chance to improve their professional skills. I will be able to improve my language and communication skills um, that the country offers. That's why I've chosen to study in the UK. And can you please justify or give me specific reasons why you have not chosen USA and Canada? Uh, well, there are some specific reasons. Um, first of <clears> all, <throat> I've searched many um, majority English speaking country and I, I, from my research, I found that USA, Canada offered their undergraduate course in four years, whereas in the UK, it takes only three years. Now, moreover, their living cost is more than UK and also their tuition fees is uh, more than UK. And uh, Canada University's charges uh, 20K GBP uh, yearly for the tuition fees, whereas in the UK, it starts from 12K GBP. And Canadian and American universities charge for application, but British universities do not. Moreover, it takes eight to 10 months to get the USA and Canada visa, but um, UK, uh, but it takes two to three months to get the uh, UK study visa. And uh, also uh, uh, their tuition and, and uh, UK, and I have uh, found that UK uh, study visa is a, uh, uh, it's easy to get the uh, UK study visa and uh, USA and Canada uh, are a bit complicated. That's why I've not chosen USA and Canada. All right. That's why you have chosen. So what other universities have you chosen apart from Middlesex University? <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, yeah, um, I have chosen Coventry and London Metropolitan University. I didn't uh, choose them because of their high fees. Uh, Coventry University cha um, charges uh, uh, 16,800 pounds and London Metropolitan University charges 15,576 pounds. Whereas measles 6 takes only 15,100 pounds. Uh, moreover, Coventry University is located outside the London, but Middlesex University is situated in London. Um, also, I got offered letter within two weeks from this university, and I had enough time to prepare all the things. Okay, Absana. So, one more question to you: Like, where do you see yourself uh, after completing this degree? Um, after completing this degree, I come back to Bangladesh and I will be able to post off a business development manager for a multinational company or any giant company. Yes. So what are the responsibilities of a business development manager? Uh, well, there are um, a number of responsibilities that I need to perform, such as creating development plans and forecasting sales targets producing reports for management finance, uh, uh, and producing reports for management, uh, um, uh, preparing sales presentation and participating in sales meetings, um, uh, uh, preparing financial projections and sales targets. Okay, 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 Apsana, uh, that's okay. Uh, so what are the multinational companies in your country you want to apply and why? Um, I have to apply uh, Badger Paints, Walton Groups, Ocean Thora Groups, Vaccine Pro Groups. They provide, uh, uh, they are the prominent in our country and they provide a handsome salary. So how much salary do you expect from this job? Uh, I'll be able to earn roughly 120,000 uh, <laughs> monthly. Monthly. So, what other benefits do you think you will get in this job? 
Uh, you said you will get a handsome salary, so that's fine. So what other benefits do you think you would get from this job? Actually, these companies are very prominent in our country and they, uh, and they provide... Uh, what, what do they provide? Suppose, you know, some companies, they provide transport, food, many things like this. So what do you expect actually from this job? From this job, I can expect uh, um, um, Can you can you answer this question? You said you would get a handsome salary. So what other things you will get from this job, do you think, according to you? There are many benefits a company offers to an employee. Do you know what are the benefits? Do you know the what are the benefits? Different types of benefits. They provide transport, they provide food, they provide mobile allowance, they provide vacation allowance, marriage allowance, they provide gratuity, job security. So so many benefits are there. So you, you have to understand the maternity leave. So these are the things, the benefits you have to understand and you could expect these benefits from a job, okay? <clears throat> All right, Apsana, so what, what is your refund policy? Did you check the university's refund policy? Uh, yes, I have checked it. I've seen it in my offer letter. I will be get a refund only in uh, two conditions. After filling the PCAS interview and getting refused to earn visa. Okay, uh, so that's all. Nice talking to you. Thank you so much. You will shortly get a feedback about your interview. It was nice talking. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.